Alright lads, we are back once again with another episode of the F1 2011 Career Mode Championship. We're here for the Italian Grand Prix. Should be a really good race, I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far. If you are, make sure you smash that like button. We're getting towards the end part of the season now. After this, we've only got, what, five more races? So, smash your support on this series. You guys have been absolutely loving it so far. So I can only say thank you for all the support you've been giving me. And I'm going to try and smash out the rest of the series uh, very quickly. So, Italian Grand Prix, bit of a power track. We are running with a Cosworth engine, but that doesn't seem to matter in 2011 career mode because the AI are a little bit hit and miss from circuit to circuit. So hopefully, this can be one of those really good ones for us. Just running through the setup real quick. I'm sorry if my voice sounds a little bit croaky. I like choked on some water like five minutes ago. And I just haven't been able to recover since. But uh, having a look at the setup, this is literally about the lowest downforce setting you can probably go with and still be competitive on F1 2011. The, the need for high downforce on this game is ridiculous. You just carry so much speed in high speed corners, or any corners for that matter to be honest. And the slipstream is that strong that you just, you need the high downforce to, to make up the lap time. The, the top speeds on 2011 is just not there at all. So, um, yeah, this is my setup. 7-9 wings. Braking, I haven't touched that in this career mode so far. Balance 111. Suspension 1-1-11-11. Uh, gearbox, I would normally fiddle around with that, but to be honest, it's just a career mode. And the, <clears throat> the intensity with the AI isn't that great. So I've just, I've left the gearbox how it is. Normally I'd do a, a a um, upward staircase and then towards fourth gear I'd sort of trail it out back down again. Engine, well, nothing you can do there. And then the cam bar all the way to the left, toe all the way to the right. And that is the setup that I've pretty much been running for all the races so far in 2011 career mode. This is feeling like a really good lap so far. Middle sector, purple once again, don't cut a scary. This is not AOR season three. Open the DRS, up to 6th gear and then building the revs up to the line, it's a 1 minute 20.8 and we are half a second clear of Nick Heinfeld, so I suspect that the AI have a lot more to throw at me. Or, Heinfeld has absolutely bossed it and that's all the AI have possibly. If it wasn't for me, Nick Heinfeld may have got pole position. Oh wow, he got it too. Congratulations, fantastic drive. Well done. Let's carry this through to the race. Thank you very much, engineer. I gotta say, I don't really care that I got pole. Nick Heinfeld has qualified in second place. If it wasn't for me, a Lotus Renault would have got pole position at Monza. It's race time. It's the Italian Grand Prix. It's ex Matty TM Edmardo commentating for you today. And I never, ever seem to know what Matt says after he says those famous words. But uh, either way, first place on the grid for the Italian Grand Prix. Five red lights, let's put the engine on. And away we go up against Nick Heidfeld, who I'm sure is absolutely crapping himself that he's so far up the grid. It may be three wide as we head into turn one. Nick, he Nick Heidfeld, for the first time in his career, led an F1 race for about 20 meters. No, Nick, don't. Don't you do it. Okay, we gotta start, okay, we gotta, we gotta break the slipstream. That is the absolute priority right now. Because if we don't, and the DRS comes into it, then we're looking at a five, six, maybe even seven car train of cars, just all lining up to take the lead off of me. It's like that, it's like cycling in that sport where how they do the, thing in the line and the leader goes to the back. That's what's going to happen on the DRS straight. The, the top speed is going to be ridiculous. Mark Webber has gone from third to eighth, so something has happened, possibly between him and Heidfeld. And I can just feel how slow my car is at the end of the straight. The top end speed compared to cars behind you is... You, you almost can't compete. As we come into Ascari, we go purple once again. That is only because it's a second lap. Everyone is going to be going purple at this stage. We've broken the one second DRS at this stage. One and a half seconds is the gap. Lewis Hamilton P3. He may be one to watch though. So, 
Try and build out this lead as much as we can. Maybe get two or three seconds over Heidfeld. And then maybe we can breathe easy. Weber's in 22nd place. Something has definitely happened to Weber. He's probably carrying some damage. Or he came in for an extra stop or something. Alonso has just got past Heidfeld for second place. Oh! Don't do that to me. Alright, into the pits we go for a set of prime tyres. Are there going to be many cars following us? It looks like there is, which is a bit unfortunate. But luckily for us, our car is... Pit bay is quite a long way down the pit lane, so we didn't get held up by anyone. And we emerge in first place once again. I imagine that Alonso got absolutely destroyed because his um, pit stop bay is right at the start of the pit lane. And he would have got held up for all the midfield runners coming in for their stops as well. So that's the benefit of running with a lower down car. How do you do, Mark Webber? Nice and cheeky to see that he hasn't made a stop yet. Enter the pits. You must go. E -I -E -I -E -I there are quite a few cars in the pits right now. Watch and we take the lead once again. I was actually crapping myself that I... I thought there was probably a 1% chance that I would have ran into the, the pit wall there by looking behind me at Weber, being a bit of a smart ass there, but luckily we didn't make ourselves look entirely stupid. Here we go guys, final corner, and we are going to take another victory in this F1 2011 career mode championship. It's a victory in Monza. Get in! So there we go guys, that's been the Italian Grand Prix for F1 2011 career mode. I apologise if this episode is probably a little bit shorter than usual. I don't think there was all too much action happening there. The AI uh, didn't exactly challenge us in that one. So I guess that's in a way the kind of episode I needed, but probably not the episode that you probably wanted. So um, we've gained some crucial points over Mark Webber who did not finish in the points. That is a massive uh, crucial point for this championship. Sebastian Vettel. Finishing in second place, Hamilton home in third. Unfortunately for Heidfeld, he qualified in second. He was the he was the standout of qualifying, but unfortunately the train of cars behind him uh, gobbled him up a little bit there. So in the driver standings, we are back in third place. So it's been a very productive round. We've overtaken Fernando Alonso, who didn't get that many points in this round. Jensen Button moves up in a second after Alonso, yeah, as I said, didn't have the best around. So, Weber, he's about 40 points in front of us. We're going to continue to close the gap in the remaining races in this championship. So, stay tuned for that. It should be, hopefully, a close fight. I'm going to give it everything I've got to try and chase down Mark Weber. But, um, we'll just have to wait and see who wins this championship. Thanks again, guys, for watching. And until my next video, I'll see you next time.